I know that all losses count the same in the in the record, but it felt like you know this game three against ASU was different than the game three uh, against Oregon. It seemed like you guys played really well, other than maybe one aspect of the game, the hitting with runners in scoring position. How did you kind of s- sum up that that game yesterday? Yeah, I thought it was just a high level division one baseball game, you know, with two, you know, really good teams, uh, two really good pitchers. I mean, you think about Justin Fall uh, as left hander, it's 94 miles an hour and probably going to be a top three or four round pick. And then TJ on our side running it up to 98 miles an hour uh, runs were at a premium. That wasn't really a surprise to me going into the game. Uh, I thought we did a good job creating some opportunities for our, ourselves I would give uh, the credit to their pitchers for making some good pitches and then their defense. They played really good defense last night and we were just kind of one at bat away from making it one of our normal games is what I would say. Um, So, uh, you know, moving on to Tuesday for me, um, I was really happy with the effort of the bullpen uh, throughout the duration of the series uh, allowed us to come back and and win two games and win a a critical series against a really good opponent on the road. so I thought it was just a good college baseball game where we came up a little short yesterday. Sure. TJ tied his career high in terms of how many innings uh, he pitched. He overcame some early adversity. What do you think was the biggest difference between this outing and maybe some of his recent ones? Yeah, I thought he had uh, more pitches where he was composed and really focused on what he needed to do. Um, you know, the the two run inning kind of seemed a little bit like the previous one where it, it sped up a little bit. But I was really proud of TJ and his composure. Um, you know, that was a, a good environment, you know, to be in and, and pitch in. There was good energy in the ballpark. And uh, he did more than give us a chance to win. And I think it was a really good stepping stone and showcased uh, his true ability. I think he, he got through their order one time with nobody reaching base, retired nine in a row, uh, struck out a bunch of guys against what I think is a good hitting team. And, um, you know, I think it was a really good step in the right direction for him and, and our pitching staff as a whole this weekend uh, did a nice job, which was great to see. What was your reaction to the Tanner Tramba inside the park home run? <laughs> you know, it, it, the ball was hit down the line. And the first thing I looked at the umpire to make sure it was fair. And then I turned and I looked at Tanner. OK, it's a for sure double. And then I started thinking in my head, who's coming up next? How do we want to set this up? You know, we're a run down. And then I kind of looked down the line and I saw the ball and I didn't see Hunter jump going to grab it. And then I immediately turned and coach Lon did a good job of continuing to send him to third. And then I kind of moved out of the dugout and just started, you know, yelling, like send him like run, um, you know, and get to home plate and then we'll see what happens. I mean, it was a very odd play, um, but credit to Tanner for running hard out of the box and, Credit to Coach Long for continuing to to send him. Just one of those things I've never seen before, to be honest with you. Uh, he also had the base clearing triple in the first game. What kind of role do you see him having moving forward coming up this big weekend? Yeah, that was some key at bats by Tanner this weekend. We brought him here because we knew he was a good hitter. And, you know, we have a lot of depth in the outfield. And when you have that, you can kind of play the hot hand a little bit. And uh, we've been fortunate with, um, you know, the guys that we can put in there. It's allowed us to withstand some injuries and not really drop off from a production wise standpoint. So uh, I expect him to continue to get opportunities and play and, um, you know, make a positive contribution offensively and, and defensively. So I'm really, really pleased that he's here and really pleased that he's playing well and helping us win. I know that you're on to Tuesday and I also know that you kind of look at it a game at a time, as opposed to looking at the series, but if you can keep stacking series victories on top of one another over the course of the Pac-12 season, is there kind of something to be said for that? hundred percent. I think it, it's, it says you, you have a complete team if you can do that. And I actually think this is at least record and performance wise, this is the best the league has been since I've been here in six years in terms of how everybody's performed outside of league. And I think that that's what we certainly want to do. And, um, you know, again, I, I don't want to take away that accomplishment from our team of, of winning that series, you know, just, I think we can win every game that we play. And, uh, I thought our guys played hard last night. Um, like I said, we're just kind of that one at bat away 
a few times from, from probably putting ourselves on the right side of that one. And so uh, I was pleased with the effort this weekend. Um, I thought we got off to a great start on Thursday, uh, kind of withstood a punch where you got to give ASU credit. They stacked some good at bats together, put up a big inning against Chase, and then immediately responding and then immediately, you know, continuing to add on to that lead was impressive. And then we were down three times on Friday night and, and came back each time and, and took the lead three different times during that game. And, and then our bullpen, you know, allowed us the time to do that, which was great. And then, like I said yesterday, well-played game on both sides, no errors. I, I really think, you know, last night ASU's defense was the difference in the game. You know, Drew Swift in particular handling the ball and some balls that we hit hard at him and turning them into outs and double plays. And so you just kind of tip your hat. I thought we took some good at-bats when we needed to take good at-bats and just didn't kind of get the result that we were looking for. Uh, you mentioned the pitching staff. Was there anything different about the approach or maybe something you guys changed going into this series that led to them having the success they did? Well, I, I've said this numerous times, and I believe this. I mean, we have plenty of talent on on the mound. There's that is not an issue um, with our team. I had mentioned last Sunday that you know I wanted them to um, improve their approach a little bit to things and, and put in some really deliberate work throughout the week. And and Kocheski and I both individually had some conversations with guys, and and I I saw a difference in how those guys took the mound and, and competed and pounded the strike zone. And we want their talent plus the work that they're putting in to lead to that kind of confidence, which will lead to better execution of pitches. I really believe that. And I believe with their talent, they can, they can be good and be successful and keep us in every game that we play and win some games for us. And um, I think that's going to happen. So I'm really excited about where they're going and I hope, uh, you know, a good week of work, leading up to it uh, will continue to motivate them to stay on it uh, in terms of their preparation. And if they do, then I think I really believe that's the strength of our team. I know the numbers don't really uh, add up that way, but that's how I see it just from a pure talent standpoint. And um, I like where they're headed. A couple of weeks ago, you mentioned getting things lined up and really trying to kind of figure out which pieces you wanted to put where, how close are you to kind of reaching that point? I like where we're at. I think, uh, you know, the one thought uh, is we're not in a major league baseball team where we're going to play 162 games. You know, we have at least three days a week where we're not playing. So it allows some guys some time to reboot and recover. And then I just think with our offense, we have the luxury of picking our spots of where we want guys to, to go in. And um, you know, between myself, Kocheski and Cameron Ming, who's on the walkie talkie in the bullpen, I feel like we can adapt, adjust as the game goes. And I really feel good about where that's heading in terms of, Hey, it's going to be this guy. If this is the situation, it's going to be this guy. If this is the situation, for instance, you know, last night in the eighth, we had the tying run on third and the go ahead run on second. And, you know, we would have had Preston ready to go in the game if we got a base hit right there you know, versus, you know, uh, Quinn Flanagan was going to go back out. We had Riley set up and, and I really like where that's headed. And, um, especially as these guys improve, I think that's going to give us a, a good chance to be on the right side of close games. And we're going to play in a lot of close games. I mean, it's just, you know, this is a very, uh, great challenge this week, you know, with, with ASU again on Tuesday and, and a Cal team that I think is, maybe undervalued and underappreciated, you know, at least, you know, in the grand scheme of things, I think it's a very good opponent and, you know, continuing to go on the road and, and have tough teams come into high Corbett. We're going to need the, the, have the staff lined up the way that we do.